Ever felt exhausted but can't pinpoint why? Ever been accused of laziness when you're actually just drained? You might be experiencing something more serious than just plain laziness. Welcome to the unexpected reality of burnout, a state of chronic physical and emotional exhaustion often mistaken for laziness. Let's get this straight. Burnout isn't laziness. It's a serious condition that millions face every day, often without realizing it. And it's not just about being tired. It's a deep-seated sense of exhaustion that doesn't go away with a good night's sleep or a weekend off. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the signs and dismiss them as mere laziness. But in truth, these are cries for help from your body and mind. Today we're diving into the seven telltale signs of burnout, each a red flag that your health may be on the line. Stick with me, and you might just discover something about yourself you never knew. The first sign of burnout is chronic fatigue, and it's not your regular kind of tiredness. This is an exhaustion that seeps into every corner of your life, leaving you feeling drained and unable to muster the energy for even the simplest of tasks. You know that feeling after a long day of work or an intense workout when you're tired, but in a satisfying way. Chronic fatigue is nothing like that. It's like a heavy blanket that smothers your energy, your motivation, your zest for life. It's a tiredness that sleep doesn't fix, that coffee can't touch. This fatigue affects your daily life, making it harder to focus, to make decisions, to get things done. It's like trying to run through treacle. Tasks that once were easy become huge mountains to climb. And this isn't just about feeling sleepy. It's a profound, pervasive fatigue that can severely impact your productivity and well-being. If you're constantly tired, no matter how much rest you get, you might be dealing with burnout. Sign number two, insomnia. It's not just about having trouble sleeping. We're talking about lying awake at night, tossing and turning, with a mind that's racing faster than a Formula One car. Now you might think, oh, I'm just a night owl, but let's dig a little deeper. Insomnia often goes hand in hand with burnout. When you're burnt out, your mind is constantly on overdrive, thinking about work, responsibilities, deadlines, and everything in between. This mental buzz acts like a stubborn alarm clock that refuses to let you sleep, no matter how much you try. The effects? Well, they're far from pretty. Insomnia can lead to a host of mental health issues, like anxiety and depression. It can also have physical impacts, from constant fatigue to a weakened immune system. So remember, if you're finding it hard to get that well-deserved rest, it's not your fault. Insomnia is not just about counting sheep, it's a serious sign of burnout. Sign number three, forgetfulness and lack of concentration. It's more than just losing your keys. Picture this, you're midway through a conversation and suddenly you can't remember what you were talking about. You're reading a report and your mind just keeps wandering off. These are classic signs of burnout, friends. The constant stress and exhaustion from burnout can have a direct impact on your cognitive abilities. You see, when your brain is overworked, it's like running a marathon without taking a break. You're pushing it to the limits, and it's only natural that it starts to falter. This affects not just your work life, where you might find it harder to meet deadlines or keep up with your tasks, but also your personal life. You might forget important dates or find it tough to stay attentive during conversations. So if you can't remember where you put your keys or can't focus on a task, you might be burnt out. Sign number four, physical symptoms. It's not just about feeling tired. When we talk about burnout, we often picture mental and emotional exhaustion. However, it's not all in your head. The body has a unique way of signaling distress and burnout is no exception. You may start experiencing physical symptoms like unexplained headaches, stomach aches and other discomforts. These symptoms aren't just a nuisance. They can disrupt your daily life, making simple tasks feel like monumental challenges. Imagine trying to concentrate on a report or presentation when your head is pounding or your stomach is in knots. These physical discomforts can also make it difficult to relax or even sleep, further exacerbating the feelings of fatigue and exhaustion. It's a vicious cycle that can make recovery feel out of reach. So, the next time you find yourself battling a string of unexplained aches and pains, take a moment to check in with yourself. Physical discomforts are not just random pains. They might be signs of burnout. Sign number five, increased illness. It's not just about catching a cold. When we're burnt out, our bodies are under constant stress, and this can have a serious impact on our immune systems. Think about it, the immune system is our body's first line of defense, but when we're constantly pushing ourselves to the limit, 
It's like a general sending his troops into battle without rest. Eventually, they're going to wear down. This weakened state can make us more susceptible to illnesses, from the common cold to more serious infections. And these frequent bouts of illness? They can take a toll on our work and personal life. We may find ourselves missing important deadlines, or having to cancel plans with loved ones because we're stuck at home, feeling under the weather. So if you're finding yourself sick more often than not, it might not just be a string of bad luck. Frequent sickness is not just bad luck. It might be a sign of burnout. Sign number six, loss of appetite. It's more than just not feeling hungry. Burnout can cast a shadow over everything, even our desire for food. It's a form of mental and emotional exhaustion that seeps into our physical being, turning even our most basic needs into a chore. When we're burnt out, we may find that we're not only uninterested in food, but we're also unable to enjoy it. This loss of appetite can lead to a decrease in energy and an increase in feelings of lethargy and fatigue. It's a vicious cycle. Moreover, the long-term effects of neglecting nutrition can be severe. It may lead to weight loss, weakened immune system, and even cognitive difficulties like poor concentration and memory issues. So the next time you find yourself skipping meals or simply not enjoying your food, take a moment to reflect. Are you just not hungry or is there more to it? Loss of appetite isn't just about skipping meals. It could be a sign of burnout. And finally, sign number seven, detachment. It's not just about wanting to be alone. Detachment is a profound sense of disconnection from the world around you. This can manifest as a desire to withdraw from social activities to avoid people or even to escape from your own feelings. Burnout has a way of making us feel isolated even when we are surrounded by people. It can lead to a sense of being on the outside, looking in. This feeling of detachment can erode relationships, causing us to drift apart from loved ones, friends and colleagues. It's like you're in your own bubble, detached from the hustle and bustle of life. But here's the thing. This detachment isn't just about physical isolation. It's also about emotional isolation. You feel emotionally drained, unable to connect with others on a deeper level. You might find that you're less empathetic, less interested in others' lives. You're just too tired, too burnt out to care. This detachment can have serious implications for our mental health. It can lead to feelings of loneliness, depression and anxiety. It can make us question our self-worth and our place in the world. So if you find yourself feeling detached, emotionally drained and isolated, it's important to recognize that this could be a sign of burnout. Detachment isn't just about wanting some alone time, it could be a symptom of burnout.